12 Psychological Tricks to Win Your Crush Genius Trick Winning your crush is hard, isn't that easy for everyone, so we decided to help you with some science-backed psychological tricks to win your crush. We did some strong research to compile this list and we are sure it will help you. 1. The Self-Assessment Theory People desire other people to view them how they see themselves, according to this psychological idea. Confused? I hope this clarifies things for you. If the woman you're seeing is particularly strong and independent, she'll want you to perceive her in that way as well. Your emotions are influenced by your self-worth and what others think of you. It's required because individuals need to know what others think of them in order to feel good about themselves. They need to validate their suspicions. 2. Spend time in the friend zone. I realize that for a lot of guys, this may be quite difficult. You're attracted to someone and want them to be attracted to you so that you may both further your relationship. But you don't necessarily have to jump right in. Consider this logically for a moment. Isn't it better to attempt to get to know someone and connect with them on a friend-to-friend -friend level before taking the next step in a relationship? It's true that many relationships begin as friendships between two people. When you're in the friend zone, the lady will get to know you, feel at ease around you, and realize you care about her. It will also allow her time to establish an attraction to you. Attraction isn't always quick, it might take time to develop. It could be a good idea to spend some time initially forming a friendship and then see where things go from there. If your relationship takes off, you'll probably have greater success as well. 3. Play easy at first, then hard to get. Playing hard to get is an art form that, let's face it, may lead to the end of many flirtationships. The key is to start by expressing interest in them, asking them about themselves, maintaining eye contact, and laughing at their jokes. If you don't, you'll come off as cold and distant. After that, once you've established a comfortable relationship and interaction, start expressing less and less interest. When you see them, wave hello or smile, but don't go out of your way to strike up a conversation. If they do, keep it short and simple and then excuse yourself. Make yourself tough to get, because people value and seek what is unusual and difficult to come by. 4. Participate in a risky activity together. People might believe they're being aroused by someone if they're in a risky or fear-inducing scenario, which is known as misattribution of arousal. If he's afraid of heights, take him on a roller coaster, he'll find you more intriguing. 5. Be honest about your weaknesses and flaws. Okay, you don't have to talk about that time you puked after eating too many hot pockets, but you can definitely talk about that strange dimple that appears when you grin. According to Fisher, sharing your flaws and imperfections makes people feel humble and safe, which encourages them to open up more about their flaws, which breeds emotional intimacy. 6. Become a Casanova This is a basic method for attracting a girl's attention. However, you'd be astonished at how many individuals make a complete mess of it. Being a Casanova entails making the female you're interested in feel special. You must appeal to her senses. One approach to accomplish this is to lavish her with compliments. Don't go overboard with the compliments, but sprinkle them in here and there, and the amount of attraction will only rise. You are essentially telling her that you like her by complimenting her. It will make her feel unique, which will perhaps lead to her loving you as well. Loving you is like breathing. How can I stop? Compliments elicit excitement and feelings by stimulating the brain's reward system. Giving her a compliment will make her brain believe she has been appreciated. It's quite satisfying to get appreciated. Everyone loves to be appreciated, therefore she'll want more after receiving a compliment, and in order to do so, she'll be kinder to you. It's possible that sparks may fly, and attraction will build. 7. Find something amusing that both of you can laugh at. Any female can tell you the finest characteristic she looks for in a man. Most of them aren't interested in appearances, careers, or anything else. 
A good sense of humor is the most important trait for the majority of girls. You're well on your way to having your attraction returned, if you can make a female giggle. You don't have to be a comic, all you need is a good sense of humor. When it comes to your first interactions with women, this is very crucial. If you're funny, she'll link engaging with you with good times. It also doesn't have to be just what you say. It's possible that it's something you both do. I'll be yours forever, just tell me when to start. On a first date, doing a funny small activity is not just a terrific way to break the ice. Participating in an enjoyable activity has been proven to increase their liking for you in studies. For instance, do a blindfolded tasting session, teach her to dance, and so on. It's possible that all of this has an impact. 8. Share the individual's hobbies and interests. When you share a shared interest with someone, you will automatically bond with them. If you appreciate the same things as someone else, whether it's jogging, eating, or a destination, you're more likely to get along with them. If you share anything in common, this might make you look appealing. Finding someone who shares your hobbies might be difficult. There's no better way to break the ice than to share a similar interest, so start with mutual destinations. 9. Monkey Watch, Monkey Act Subtly replicating their actions is one of the easiest and most common ways human beings connect, the crucial word here being subtly. People relate better when they exhibit similar physical characteristics, such as sitting position or hand gestures, according to psychologists. 10. Put on a red outfit. Red is frequently connected with powerful sexual identity, optimistic energy, and taking action. People are more likely to be drawn to people wearing that color, according to studies. Who knew our affections could be based just on a person's shirt color? It's making me reconsider some of the slackers I'd adored in high school. 11. Eye to eye contact. People glance at each other 30 to 60% of the time in regular conversation, but when two people are attracted to each other, they gaze at each other 75% of the time. According to studies, if you focus on someone you like, 75% of the time when they're talking to you, you're fooling their brain. The brain remembers that the last time someone stared at them, for that long and so frequently, it indicated they were in love. 12. Say my name by Destiny's Child scored some credits. Hearing your own name has an influence on your brain, according to studies, since we involuntarily respond to the sound of our names. It serves as a slight ego boost and promotes pleasant attitudes toward the speaker in numerous ways.